Just tell us a little bit about the activities you do here in this session with uh, the reserve with the, with the youth players and, and and why it's important to do those because also that they participate in it as well yeah well that's what we we had going on before we had um, obviously they were helping guide some of the participants around and um, but then we got them involved just to i think it's it's always interesting to to get a feel of a visual impairment and um, i'm really fortunate myself that whatever impairments the around i haven't but the coach who was leading before matt as a visual impairment it hasn't stopped him achieving anything that he wants to do and I think it's important that when we have the, the kids here, the reserve players, the academy players, just, just to sort of show them that, that despite your ability, sometimes it's, um, it's important just to get involved and just, just get active with, with everyone. They had a real big connection there, a real bond, which I thought was really good for the players themselves. And what sort of response do you get from the players? Usually, um, at first, it, they normally take like a step back because it's something different. It's, Maybe some people have never witnessed it, um, an impairment before, um, but then, near enough, all the time, if not every time, it's the compassion you feel, you feel of like what they've done has been worthwhile for the session. And the visually impaired people who took part in the event, they look like they had a fantastic time as well. Yeah, they seem to really enjoy it. They um, come away smiling, laughing, some singing songs even, so um, it couldn't even go any better for them, but that's, they're like that every single time, they're laughing, joking, so we seem to be even more excited than ever before. So Ryan, just talk us a little bit about what you've been doing today here in this session. We've just been helping some kids out with some football side of things who have slight disabilities, you know, whether it be shooting, coordination, trying to help out however we could. We put a blindfold on and they had to listen to the sound, whether it be the right post, middle, and the goal, uh, left post. We had to work out and visualise the goal in our head. I, I missed, unfortunately, so uh, I found it hard. And we had to try and score the goal with the ball. You're a sportsman and an athlete. Sometimes you can take these senses for granted, but when you have something like when one of your main key senses is taken away, it really can uh, control you. <laughs> it's very difficult. I like, can understand what the kids go through day in, day out. I mean, it's very good that you do that and you live a life normal. How do you think the, the kind of kids reacted to it? Because they, they seem to be enjoying I, themselves. I know my partner were laughing and away and stuff, so it was nice. It puts a smile on your face as well. But, I mean, when I was a kid, I'd love to have something like this. So it was, especially for these, you know, it's important, I think. We're really involved a lot with Seeing is Believing for Standard Charter. Obviously, they've been a fantastic sponsor for us for the last two years, and they do an unbelievable job all around the world with this um, project. And our uh, foundation have been heavily involved with it, and we're delighted to support it today.